Do you make your own Christmas cards? I find it so fun to do and very personal. And so you can make a different card for every single person because everyone is an individual. So today is the beginning of a three week series on how to make Christmas cards at home. Today I am going to use, this is what they call a photo card. And a photo will just slip into this little pocket. And sometimes people do photos of their pets, their family. Um, maybe they bought a new house. Well, I was at the secondhand store and they had a box of these brand new, never been opened for $1.50. And I didn't have a photo to use this year. And I was going to do this card series and I thought, what can I do to make these special? So we're going to make four cards today and every week we'll make three to four cards depending on um, the te technical parts of that card. What I call stamp Christmas cards and two other ones. So we're going to teach you how to make this and these are actual real stamps that the people can use afterwards. Fun one with dinosaurs real stamps they can use them how to recycle and use a card from last year and how to make a real personal christmas card for the one you love so let's go do it this is the first card we're going to do today now this card is actually made to have a photo slip in here but what do you do with these cards when you don't have a photo to use? So I have a few ideas for us today. The first one we're going to start with, I call the postage stamp card. And this is actually stamps that you would buy at the postal service. And I'm going to add a background to the back. And when I'm trying, trying to decide colors to use, if there's a lot going on with the postage stamp, because you don't have to necessarily use Christmas postage stamps. I picked out these fun ones that had letters. I can set that on there and I can see, okay, these three colors would match and they wouldn't take away from the stamps. The fun thing about making a postage card stamp is that you literally get to give some stamps to someone. This works really well if you have, say, an elderly aunt or a mother or grandmother that likes to send thank you cards and likes to send letters. And it just, is just a way for them to have more stamps. I picked up these stamps too. Some of them are holograms. They move. And if you wanted to just send money to a grandson, perhaps, you could cut for these stamps out, put it in here, and then send a check. Just something fun. And though they probably would never mail these stamps, I think they would find them fun and interesting because who doesn't like dinosaurs? Our cards will fit a four by six photo. And so I have to cut this paper four by six. Now you can use your just scissors and just measure it, but these are just so handy to have. Now I have a measure. This is a clear square that I use in sewing. Now, if you've never used one of these, this is your zero point, this ridge. And so if I wanted to do four inches, I can adjust, I'm going to line it up with that, that ridge and then pull the paper till I get the right spot. Then I just put it down and I can just slice it. So that's the four. line it up and we have to have six inches so we're going to slide our paper over till we get exactly six inches 
line it up with our ridge. These cutters are so slick. We'll move it out of the way. And then you just open up your card and that will slide in there because it fits a four by six photo. So now all of a sudden we have some colors in there. I'm gonna adjust that a little bit. Now what about movement in here? Because it can happen and we don't want any movement. You can use a dab of glue. I also like to use double stick tape. Now I rarely buy double stick tape in the, in the store, in the craft section. I wait till after it's the cold season. And I got these actually from the section that you cover your windows. And so I'm gonna yellow paper on the back side. In fact, let me pull it out for you so you can see. And then you can just pull that. And so the double stick is on there. Now, when you put it in, you wanna make sure that it's not touching until you know you have it adjusted correctly. So you look on the front, if it's all good, then we can just press it down and it's not gonna go anywhere. Now to put our postage stamps, you could vary them in different spots. You can just do a section. What I am gonna do, because these are forever stamps. I might be able to, they might be perforated even. I like these because they're shiny, there's letters, they're fun. Postage stamps should be fun. I hate it when they're boring and they come. I'm gonna get any extra little pieces. Now I can't fit four across, but I can fit one, two, three across. Now I could set them just flat like that, but if I put something to heighten it, it lifts up. Those are total choices on what you'd like to do. You could cut some foam board to put them. You can just hook them just like this using your double stick tape. You just have to kind of decide what's the best thing for you. But before I hook this on, I have to decide, is there anything I want to put on here design-wise? Do I, I want to put a stamp, a sticker? What would I like to do? Do I want it right in the center? Do I want to put it up farther? Now, if you have some fun little stickers, I got these at the dollar store. These are fun because they're three-dimensional. Can you see how they're sticking up a little teeny bit? So I'm actually gonna use this one, Cherish the Simple Things. And I'm gonna pull that off. And it already has little sticky ones. I like this one because it's got the same kind of greens in there on both here and on the postage stamp. Now, what if I just put four in there? I could, but I think I'm gonna put all of them in there. So I'm gonna cut a piece of cardboard just so it raises it up a little teeny bit. So I cut my piece of cardboard, and as you can see, I put the double-sided tape on both sides one side to stick it on here, the other side to stick the stamps. And so we're, I made it just slightly smaller than the size of the stamps. So we grab that. Tricky little guys sometimes. 
and we're going to try to get that evenly spaced onto our paper. Pull those off and then we're going to try to evenly space our stamps. So isn't that fun? It's very still very Christmassy. I thought because of the round they almost look like ornaments. Cherish the simple things because stamps are simple. And then you can write whatever you want to that special aunt or mom or grandma. And then when they're ready, they just peel it right off. Now I would make sure that you, they know that they are true, real stamps. One thing we should mention is because I am mailing this or giving this to someone, if you're going to mail it, make sure you use that same stamp just to make it more special. Now this one, we're going to use the dinosaur stamp and we're going to make it um, vertical instead of horizontal. And instead of a plain piece of paper, I thought it might be interesting to, to use a map just because it's dinosaurs and the map looks old and the colors are good coordinating colors with both the stamps and the map. So I thought that would be good. So the first thing we have to do is cut this four by six. When there's a print on there, you have to kind of make sure where you want to cut it. Um, do you want to make, have it so it shows more of one country versus another country? If it doesn't matter to you, just go on the edge. I put the map in of Turkey. And then I'm just trying to find a placement of the other dinosaurs. Now I'm going to use these little square wooden blocks because I actually want it to lift up off of the actual card. I think it'll give it a, a kind of cool effect. If you're going to mail these, you will have to ask your post office if you have to pay a little bit more postage. Now I'm going to use the hot glue gun to hook it onto the card, but the double-sided tape to hook it onto the stamp. Always be careful if your kids are helping you with the hot glue gun because you'd hate to have some, someone get burned by it. I think I'm going to tilt this one. Then we're going to use our double-sided tape to hook onto our stamps. Now you can't make it wider than your square, so be careful with that. So we can just set those right on there. And the nice thing about these stamps, there's not a stamp on the other side. I made sure I got sheets of stamps instead of the double-sided ones. And we can just quickly put those on. It doesn't matter what direction, just so it's basically covering side to side. And then it's just a matter of peeling back that paper without removing this double-sided stick, sticky tape. And then we can just set those right on there. Now, can you imagine a little one, someone that loves dinosaurs, receiving this fun card at Christmas? I think a lot of times kids go, oh, it's a Christmas card. They don't even want to read it, let alone look at it. And this way, it'll intrigue them. They'll want to look inside. Isn't that fun? Can you see the Tyrannosaurus Rex mouth opening and closing? 
but these are great ways to use these cards when you don't have photos. This is probably one of the simplest ways to use a photo card. Saving your cards from the year before. That way you can just simply slide that card from last year in and you have another ready-made card. Perfect. Now I got this whole box of the Christmas cards that are for photos for $1.50 at the secondhand store. It still was sealed up. Nobody had ever used it, but somebody had donated it. If you pick a card that has some of the colors of the, the original card, it works perfect. And because this is so snug in there, you don't even have to put the tape in there. You can just put it in the envelope. Now this came with a picture of the card on the envelope. So I just cut that out and I'm going to attach it to the envelope here. So it gives them a sneak peek and then I'll put that inside. Other things you could do is you could use fun stamps or stickers on the outside envelopes. And I'm just going to use my double sided tape. I am going to go all the way around so that it will stay there securely. Another thing you could use is hot glue or Elmer's glue. So I have the double sided tape all the way around and I'm just going to place it onto the envelope. Try to get it as straight as you can. Now, whenever you add stickers or things to the outside of an envelope, I would suggest that you pay the extra 17 cents to the post office so it is it doesn't go through the machine. It's actually handled by a person. But what a great card. Easy to do. I like to use colors that are in the cards. There's green, there's red, there's silver, gold. And so I'm going to slide a piece of green in. I already have a little piece of double stick tape on there. So I'm going to get it in there. Peel that. You don't want to peel the double sided tape, just the backing. Check it so it's all okay on this side and press it down. Now let's do something for someone we love. I have these three dimensional stickers and I just thought even though I would use this at Valentine's Day, a lot of times at Christmas we really want to show our love to somebody. So it's got a little sticky on there. Get that out of the way. First, I'm going to put one here. This is really showing somebody that you care. And then this one, I'm going to go across. And then I'm actually even going to take this little one that says the story of us put right there. Now this is a perfect card for me to give to Joe because it's the holiday season and I just really want him to know how much I care. And then I'll write something wonderful inside there. But isn't that fun? And because I'm going to give it to him personally, I'm not sending it through the mail. I'm going to take one of these fun stickers and put it right in the corner. Because if I don't have to sell it, send it through the mail, I can add things onto those envelopes like that. See, I just love that. Here we are with four different beautiful Christmas cards. All of them are made with cards that were supposed to have photos in them, but we changed them up a little bit. And I just think they just turned out perfect. For the next three weeks, I'm going to be making cards, different kinds. Next week, we're going to do some stamping and adding colors to our prints that we're doing on the stamps. 
but I hope you enjoyed this in a way to recycle using last year's cards, bargain cards that we found at the secondhand store, and everyday things that people will remember you long after Christmas, anytime they mail a letter. And the one you love. Weren't those fun cards to do? And I like the photo um, cards because you can put them um, landscape or you can make them vertical and do them portrait. And it's just so many possibilities and things that you just have around the house when I'm out shopping. If there are things on sale on clearance, I just buy them and I have a couple little containers that I keep those things in. Just like when we did the Christmas tree yesterday. You're always at the post office. You can always get stamps and they don't have to be Christmas stamps to be fun Christmas cards. I hope you're gonna like this series. So fun, seriously, so fun. Next week, we're gonna do some stamping. See you next time.